two green weeks in a row for Bitcoin for a total move of over 17% in the last two weeks. However, we are still not out of the woods as we now face a massive, massive resistance line where we've already been rejected from four times just in the last few months. So this is basically like battling that final boss was super difficult to get by in order to get to the next stage. So if we cannot get past this final boss, then guess what happens? We have to start all the way back from the beginning of this level. So if you're younger, then you probably won't get this reference as you've always been able to save the gains. But believe it or not, back in the days on previous and older consoles, you couldn't save your progress in the game as you played. So if you died, you had to go all the way back and start from the beginning of the level. So if I was stuck with a final boss or at the end of a level and I still couldn't beat it and I had to go to school the next day, I would basically pause the game and leave it on while I slept and went to school. And I would hope that by the time I got back from school, either one, my mom or grandma or someone didn't turn off my console and two, that the game didn't freeze and I was still able to play it from where I paused it. Again, the newer generation won't understand this, but if you're older, you know what I'm talking about. So that's the exact scenario that we're at right here. If you look at the chart, every time that we've hit this exact same level, we have retraced all the way back down. So in today's video, we're going to look at a couple different scenarios that we could possibly see and possibly get over the weekend. We're then of course going to look over the order books as well to see where's the interest. And then I'm going to share with you guys the exact trade setups that I will be watching this weekend to make some profits regardless of which way prices go. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. So it's been a week since my last analysis. Unfortunately, I was a little bit under the weather, but if you guys caught the trade setup that I gave you guys last week on Friday, I told you guys that we were playing that 42K level. And if you guys entered that 42K level, you could have rolled it up multiple times over, but overall it's up around seven and a half percent from where we told you to enter. So using 10X leverage, like we usually do, that's around 75% profit on that move. So if you guys see here, we entered that same exact trade that we gave you guys, we made over a thousand on that trade. Then the next day we continued to use that same trade, made another $800 on it. In between, of course, we were taking other trades in Ethereum as well. And this week we've pretty much been on fire. We went four for four on our trades on Monday. We went two for three on our trades on Tuesday. We went four, we went four out of five on our trades on Wednesday. And yesterday, if you look at the chat guys, we went crazy yesterday and we actually went 10 out of 10 hitting every single trade that we took. And so far today we're three out of four. So it's definitely been a crazy, crazy week. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the trades that I'm gonna be looking at this weekend, but first let's break down the price analysis on Bitcoin and where we can go, you know, what scenario we could possibly see from here. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we get. So first of all, as you guys can see, we've been rejected at this major resistance level four times here just in the last few months. If you go back even further, you will see that we were, we've were we been rejected there another time back in September. We also use the same level as support here and we used it as support here again. So we've literally been trading in this range so far the entirety of 2022. We have just been getting rejected at that resistance and basically going all the way back down and retesting the support, then jumping back up, getting rejected, testing the support. And here we are again. So remember, we spoke about this last week. We told you guys that with this break here, we were expecting a continuation all the way to the top of this range here. And that's exactly what we got. So now the next step is, are we going to break to the upside or are we going to get rejected again and drop all the way back down to that 30, six to $35,000 range. So you can see that the highest price that we've seen through all of this period here was right here on February 10th, which was a high of 45,848. 
So when we retested earlier this month, we had a high of 45,322. And so far today, when we broke above 45,000 for a very small amount of time, we went to a high of 45,105. So, so far, this candle is looking exactly like all of these candles here when we got rejected. It's looking very, very similar. And with tensions escalating again in Russia and Ukraine, with interest rates rising, is this all painting the perfect storm for Bitcoin to get rejected yet again here and for us to drop all the way back down here again to retest the support again to then try to bounce back up again and break out of this level again? It is definitely a possibility. So the next few days will definitely be interesting for Bitcoin because when looking at the chart, you can see that most of these rejections were pretty obvious and pretty fast. You see it here the first time, the second and third time, there were very quick rejections as well. Although the second time we, we tried for about three days before then getting the big red candle here. And we actually tried again within like a week and then got two huge rejection candles here. Went right back at it, boom, the next day got huge rejection candles and then here we are again so by monday we might know what's going to happen so we need to be prepared so it looks like most of these once we got rejected and lost the 42k level was pretty much what signaled us that our uptrend was over and that we were going to start heading down we can also pretty much see where we had that uptrend and pretty much after we broke this rising support here that's when we went on a down Downtrend. We see it again here. Once we broke that, we got the big red candle down. And currently, we're still riding that trend to the upside. So, if we break below this level, which it's currently today, is currently sitting at around $43,000. Tomorrow, it'll be sitting at around $43,500. So $43,000 might be the key level that we're watching to see if we break this trend that we're currently on, because if we do, then we are likely looking to possibly retest this bottom area here. Now, if we do break to the upside, I'm expecting a big rally at that point, I think, just because we've been rejected so many times. So that rally might come after $46,000 because I think that there's a lot of traders right now shorting at 45 with probably a stop above the high right here. So that would mean that their stop is probably going to be sitting around $46,000 I think if we break above this high here and we break above 46, we could see an instant rally up to around 48,000 and we might even make a little stop at 50 and 54,000. Remember, if we break this right here, this Fibonacci level, we go into the next stage, right? The next level. We go, we defeat the boss and we start playing the next level to look for the next boss, which is sitting all the way up here at $54,000. You'll see that last time we broke broke through that level. We went all the way up here. We got rejected there by the boss. Then we broke through the level again and we defeated the boss, which of course led us to our previous all time high at $69,000. If you look further back, you can see the same thing. Once we got above this level, we set up a new high here. We got rejected, retested this level and then went right back up and set up some new all-time highs at that point. So this is a crucial line in the sand which divides a possibility for newer highs, all-time highs, and a possibility to go into a bear market. This is pretty much the line in the sand that sheds possibility in either direction. So this is a very important level that we will be keeping an eye on over this weekend and going into next week, of course. So looking at the order books, you can see that there's currently the most sell pressure sitting right at $45,000. You can see there's also some uh, buy orders right above the high of the day. If you go up a little bit higher, you can actually see a lot of buy orders sitting at $45,500. So it looks like 
like those people there are looking for a breakout above $45,500 there. Now, something that's interesting here is that at $43,500 and at $43,450, there's a lot of sell orders there. There's also sell orders sitting at $43,200. There's sell orders sitting at $42,750. So it looks like those are people looking for that confirmation of a rejection and trying to short it there at that point if we were to start heading back down or it might just be people you know looking to take profits because they bought while the price was lower either way these are good levels to just keep in mind and keep an eye on when you're also looking for any trades now next i'm going to be showing you guys the exact trade setups that i will be watching and i will be taking over this weekend depending on what happens with the price action but however before i show you guys this all I ask for is that you guys subscribe to the channel. If you guys are looking to make money either through trading or crypto passive income, maybe a little bit of NFTs, or maybe you just wanna stay up to date with the latest money-making trends in crypto, I literally upload a video every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again. In addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram and I also answer every single comment that you guys leave on my YouTube channel. So please, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. All right guys, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the trade setups that I will be watching like a hawk this weekend to try to make some profits. All right, so obviously the main levels that we're going to be watching is $45,000, of course, because that is the final boss of this level that we're currently sitting at. And the next level that we're going to be watching is right at this trend line. So remember, we spoke about around 43,000 to 43,500. And what's interesting here as well, it's that we're not the only ones watching this level if you look at the order book this is where there is a lot of sell orders so that means that people are watching this exact same trend line to take profit or sell at that point so we're going to try to use that information to make some profits so now this comes down to which way you think the market's gonna go if you think the market's going to break out and continue up you can play the $45,000 level. Now it is a bit risky because there's been a lot of fake outs. So if you wanna be a little bit safer, instead of playing 45,000, you can play it around that 45,500, 45,550 level where there's also other people here looking to buy at that point. Now that's up to you because what you can do is that if you see that it stays below 45,500 and it starts to drop back down below 45,000, you could actually take a short position there and scalp it for some probably pretty nice profits at that point. And if it flips above 45,500, then you can close out, you can stop out your short position and flip over into a long position. So that's definitely an interesting trade that I'm currently considering going into the weekend. The other possibility here is a short position if we break below 43,000 or 43,500 around that area. If we were to break below that area, you can see here that there is a lot of sell orders, people looking to take profit. And there's also this little gap in the volume shelf that could be filled here all the way back down to either 43,000 or maybe down to around $42,000. And if that were to happen, then that could basically start a new trend to the downside, which could, which could potentially send us back down uh, sub 40K levels. So that will be the next level that I will be watching this weekend. Now, with all that being said, if you guys want to know the exact trade setups that I am taking in real time every single day, where I'm taking profits, where I'm putting in my stop losses, how I'm using my trailing stops, what trades I'm taking in Ethereum and other altcoins, then you guys need to join my trading mentorship Discord. In this group, I share every single trade that I take with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, trailing stop, all of it. I show you guys my exact scalping strategy that has got me these returns this week. I literally I literally just made $1,000 just a few minutes ago while recording this video. And this was on a small move from 3,100 to 3,130. 
And earlier this morning, I woke up to a $2,500 profit on one of the trades that I gave in the trade group. I set bids overnight at 3,100. I got filled at literally 3 a.m. in the morning. And when I woke up, the price was at 3,182 for a $2,500 profit. Now, in addition to trading, I also post about crypto passive income opportunities, NFT projects, and much, much more. Now there are limited spots for this because there's so many people that want to get in, but there's only so many that I can work with at once. So if you guys are interested, go to the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity. And the way that it is set up right now, the easy opportunities to make money will not last forever, I can guarantee you. So if you're interested, sign up in the link in the description below. If not, I strongly recommend that you check out the next two videos that are put up on the screen because those are the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, peace and love.